AI. Anyway. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. Too smart for me. <laughs> so Ada, Ada has a, an arm that uh, paints, right? And anyway, anyway, here's a report. You'll, you'll see all of this. And uh, from our reporter, Alice Porter, on this one. Okay, here we go. I like that my art creates good discussions. Can artworks produced by machines be called art? That's the central question posed by Ada, the world's first ultra-realistic artist robot. Aidan Miller will be curating Ada's exhibition at the Venice Biennale. How can a robot be an artist? Surely they're just running programs. Well, that's because people are not aware that how the nature of programming is changing with the rise of the algorithm, the way that artificial intelligence is enabling the programs to make decisions. And with that, it therefore is able to be creative. The goal of artificial intelligence is to create something like a robot which can think independently, like humans. Despite the movies, we're nowhere near creating that kind of technology. But Ada shows that AI machines currently can replicate human emotions. Where do you get the inspiration for your art? I have a lot of inspirations from different places. I'm inspired by the world around me. I'm deeply inspired by the visual arts, also literature. Thank you for speaking with me. It is nice to meet you, Alice. Ada's ability to converse and create artwork demonstrates how AI has become so advanced. But Aidan Miller says the point of the exhibition is not to glorify robots, but to prompt difficult questions about technology and privacy. We are deeply concerned about the nature of technology and how it's morphing in front of us. The artworks that Ada produces are stimulating questions and engagement about questioning that very nature of that technology. We are not here to promote technology or even robots. The whole point is to question where in the world are we and where are we going to go. Alice Porter, GB News.